Last week, I showed you guys how to build a belt squat machine. This week, let's talk about the belt squat exercise itself. In this video, we'll cover why you'd want to incorporate the belt squat over other squat variations, muscles targeted by the belt squat, how to set up for and perform the belt squat, and finally stick around to the end where we'll talk about some common mistakes and how to fix them. Before we get into the video, hi, my name is Ryan Treadway, founder of TreadawayTraining.com, where we turn skinny guys into jacked men. If you want more information on body transforming training and nutrition topics every Sunday, consider subscribing. The barbell squat is the undisputed king of leg exercises. However, that doesn't mean you want to do only barbell squats all the time. There are some reasons why some people wouldn't want to or can't do barbell squats. Back injury, for example. Even when doing everything correctly, some people are just more prone to back injury than others. If you've been around the channel for a while, you've heard me talk about my back injuries in the past. No matter how careful I'm being, if I go heavy on barbell squats more than once per week, it causes a little bit of lumbar discomfort, which is a problem for anyone whose goal is to build a nice, strong, muscular set of legs, and is especially a problem if you have powerlifting goals. If your only goal is to build muscular legs, not using barbell squats can be a hindrance, but there are plenty of other leg exercises you can do that do a good job of building leg muscle and strength. However, if you have powerlifting goals, you can't get away from the barbell squat because one third of your entire sport revolves around the barbell squat. So now you have a real problem. How do you get enough squat volume to progress without injuring yourself? Sure, you could do leg press, lunges, step ups, split squats, and other squat type exercises, but these don't directly translate to a better barbell squat. When the goal is specifically to be better at barbell squats, you need to practice the barbell squat specifically. That's actually where the belt squat comes into play. Unlike most squat type exercises, the belt squat has a very similar muscle activation pattern to the barbell back squat. This was actually looked at in a 2014 study, which did in fact find that the belt squat and the barbell back squat do have very similar muscle activation patterns. There was slightly less glute activation and slightly more quad activation with the belt squat, but not enough of a difference to reach statistical significance. And while the belt squat can't completely replace the barbell squat, it is an excellent supplement to your barbell squat training that doesn't require you to heavily load the spine. Now let's talk about biomechanics and muscles targeted. The quadriceps extend the knee by pulling the upper leg forward. The glutes extend the hips by driving the hips forward. And a common misconception is that squats are a great ab builder. In reality, the abs are almost completely inactive in the squat. I'll talk more about that in my how to get a six pack video. And now that we know what muscles we're targeting, let's talk about how to set up for and perform the belt squat. And the belt squat setup actually begins before you ever step on the platform. Squat barefoot or put on a pair of squat shoes to allow maximum force transfer into the platform. Put on a belt squat belt or a dip belt. Clip yourself into the belt squat machine. And once you're clipped in, you're ready to roll. Some belt squat machines require you to start at the bottom of the movement, while others allow you to start from the top. Mine requires you to start from the bottom, so that's what we'll go off of in this video. However, the execution is very similar either way. Spread your feet into your normal squat stance. Your feet should be a little wider than shoulder width, and your toes should be pointed 20 to 40 degrees outward. Pick a spot on the floor about 10 feet in front of you and stare at it. This will help you keep a neutral spine position. Hold your arms out in front for balance. Take a deep breath down into your gut and brace your core by forcing your midsection outward in all directions. Force your knees outward as you stand up so that they track in line with your toes during the movement. Keep your spine neutral throughout the movement. When you reach the top, briefly squeeze the glutes and quads, exhale, 
take another deep breath in and brace before descending. The descent should take one to two seconds. As you descend, your muscles will stretch like a rubber band, storing up force as they stretch. Explode up as soon as you reach the appropriate depth to take full advantage of this effect. Finally, let's talk about some common mistakes that you'll want to avoid. The most common mistake is the same as the most common mistake with every other exercise, which is using too much weight and not using proper form or getting a full range of motion. Ego lifting doesn't impress anyone. All it does is limit the effectiveness of the exercise and greatly increase the risk of injury. Additionally, if you do have powerlifting goals, you need to be in the habit of squatting to the appropriate depth anyway. Drop the weight and do the exercise with proper form over a full range of motion. The next mistake is descending too quickly and bouncing at the bottom of the rep. When you do this, you lose tension in the target muscles and also cause a sudden jolt of force to the lumbar spine, making it both less effective and much more dangerous. This is often the result of attempting to lift too much weight or simply allowing your form to become sloppy when you're approaching failure. Lighten the load if needed, take one to two seconds to descend as previously mentioned, and explode upward without jerking. Why are you considering adding belt squats to your routine? Let me know down in the comments. And if you wanna learn how to build a belt squat machine, you can check out this video. And if you wanna check out my barbell squat tutorial, you can check out this video. As always, God bless you and your family, and we'll see you next week. And while the belt squat can't completely replace the back squat, and while the belt squat can't complete, and while the belt squat can't completely replace the black, the back squat, black squat.